This five minute video on Embrilliance Essentials will show you how to add your own personalization to this free design from Smart Needle. So here I have my free design from Smart Needle and I'm going to do some customizing in it. The first thing I want to do is expand my object pane so that I can see the color breaks in the design and maybe make this a little bigger. I could see that color number two is the word sewing. And the first thing I wanna do is delete this. So while I have it selected, I hit the delete key on my keyboard and remove it. Now I want to, let's zoom out so you can see my whole hoop here. And I notice the size of my design is listed here and it is almost wide enough or large enough to fit in the four by four um, multi-position hoop. So let me change to that hoop. Boom. Apply. Okay. And you could see that this banner is the only part that's small. Now, if I want to select just that banner, I can't because the two, the color white exists in two locations. So the first thing I need to do is to add a color stop so that the word room and the top scroll is a separate color. To do that, I'm going to go back, zoom out, go to my sew simulator, move my slider bar through the simulation of the sewing, and when I get to the end of the white where it says room, I'm going to use my arrow keys here to back up that crosshair, which is now on the sewing machine. I'm going to back it up until it's right at the end of the letter M. So that crosshair. I'm going to hit the stop sign and that adds a color stop. If I have to choose a color that's not in my design or just a different color so that the machine will now stop. So you can see that the word room is a color and then right underneath it, the scroll work is a different color. Now, if I want to select just this separate uh, this bottom banner, if I draw my selection box, it won't let me select it because this whole design is grouped. So I'm going to go to my edit menu and choose ungroup. Now, let me get back, get out of sewing simulator so we see my regular toolbar. So I'm going to select toolbar. Now I could select just the bottom banner and I'm going to go back up to the edit menu and choose group. I'm going to do the same thing for the top portion. Oops, don't want to move that. I'm going to select just the top sewing machine and I'm going to go to edit and choose group. Now my two designs are separate. I can click on them and I can move them around without accidentally moving only part of it. I want this word, this banner to fit my hoop. So I'm going to go up here to the size and I'm going to type in 99 and hit enter which makes it 99 millimeters and exactly fit my four x four hoop and I can place it anywhere I want. I can move my sewing machine up to wherever I want it. Now I can add my text. Click on my letter A. For my text, first thing I want to do is type in a name. And I'm going to choose a font that's on my computer and you can choose any of the fonts you have listed. I'm going to choose this script type font, size it, move it down underneath the sewing machine. And if you notice, this apostrophe is rather large, so I'm going to click on the green uh, X just in this apostrophe and I'm going to size that down and rotate it around so it looks more like an apostrophe that I want it to look like. And this S is a little bit out of the way, so I'm, I'm going to select the center um, selection of that text and move it in and I have my name for my design. Now I'm going to put sewing on top of room and I'm going to click again my letter A. This time I'm going to choose the penny font. I'm going to go to circular text and I'm going to change that to sewing. and smooth that down on top of here. If it looks like it fits that curve nicely, but if I needed to adjust my radius, I can just move my slider bar to adjust it in this direction. I'm going to just make it just a little bit smaller so that it fits in. And now I can move my things around and I can save my file. So I'm gonna to go to file, 
save as because I want to save it under a new name. And I'm going to choose to save it as sewing room. And now when I go to look at this design, let me go back to that was on my desktop that it saved it at. There's my split design. So we have the bottom portion, which is the number two file. We have the top portion, which is the number one file. And of course we have the original one that we have working on here. And that's some quick customizing that I did in Embrillius Essentials with the free design from Smart Needle.